everyone, welcome back to my channel, Bealicious Budgeting. My name is Anna, I have my dog Marshmallow here with me. I'm really excited because I'm gonna share with you all my goal updates. So usually I will share my goals for the year in January, and then about halfway into the year, I like to give you all an update. I feel like it keeps me accountable and share like the goals I have already met or partially met or I just have not met at all. But I love filming these type of videos. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. I focus on content such as beauty, lifestyle, and how to save money. So if you're interested, Please hit the subscribe button down below. Also, let's give this video a thumbs up. Be sure to turn on notifications. I upload every Wednesday and Saturday. And let's just go ahead and dive into my goal updates. So goal number one was to reach a thousand subscribers on YouTube. Right now, as I'm filming, I'm sitting at 643 subscribers. I think at the beginning of the year, I was like in the high 300. So definitely some growth, which I'm super excited about. I don't know if I will actually meet that or not. I do notice that sometimes certain shorts do pick up and I'll get like 20 to 30 subscribers in a day, which is awesome. So I have been trying to post more consistently. I have been posting every day on Instagram. Also, I have been trying to film more like shorts on here in between like my actual like, upload days and on TikTok. So I'm just trying to balance it all, be consistent on all platforms, but it's kind of hard because I do have a full-time job and I don't want to always like be on my phone or always filming. Also, I am like playing around with content a little bit more to see like which video topics do well. And one thing about my channel too, I know I could grow faster if I like uploaded more frequently, if I did more like trending videos or if I had like the newest like makeup products. However, I do want to stay true to myself and what I'm passionate about. I don't want to film a video that goes viral but it's not something I'm into I'm gonna really film again or just something I don't really like I just still want to stay within my niche something that's true to me but here and there I will have some content that I am truly interested about and they'll just kind of be a one-off video but I'm not doing it to like grow or anything like that because again I just want to be as genuine as possible on this channel. Right now, I am happy with the growth that I am receiving. Goal number two is to travel to two different countries. So this was actually one of my goals last year, and unfortunately, we did not meet. We were supposed to go to London and Paris. However, our flights kept being canceled, or they just flat out weren't going out of a certain airport, and it was just changing too much. We decided to go to Dallas instead last minute. And then this year, Ernie and I both got new jobs, both on a probationary period. Ernie's trying to accumulate enough vacation days. So all those things take into effect and then like seniority, things like that. So I'm kind of curious myself if we will meet this goal or not. So stay tuned. Goal number three was to minimize my makeup collection. So I actually have met this goal, not all the way yet, but I'm getting there. I think I've done three or four beauty entries this year, which have been the most I have done within a year. Also, I have emptied one of my makeup drawers fully, so we're getting there, progress, and I know I'm like buying makeup here and there. I only buy high-end makeup when it does go on sale during like Ulta's 21 Days of Beauty or when they have like the sell after Ulta's 21 Days on like drugstore products. So I have been like purchasing new makeup as well, but I don't have like as much. I think right now I only have like two foundations and I literally only have two setting sprays and I'm almost out at my Urban Decay All Nighter, so Pretty soon I'll only have one setting spray, whereas in the past I used to have like four or five. So we're definitely minimizing over here and I'm still like using the products I already have. So even with me purchasing new makeup, I am still like running out and using the makeup I already have and minimizing my makeup collection. So goal number four was to upgrade my phone. So I actually met this goal back in January when it was my birthday. My husband was actually kind enough to upgrade my phone because prior to this, I had an iPhone SE because it was like the most affordable iPhone. It was like four or $500. And if you are new here, I do film on my iPhone. I don't have a fancy camera or anything like that. We like to do things on a budget over here. And one thing about me in general, I never had like the newest like iPhone or just phone in general. I was always a few models behind because I just don't need to upgrade every year and it's ridiculous how expensive phones are nowadays. And just with anything, like even if I find like any clothing item that I no longer wear, I'll try to repurpose it somehow by like selling it, giving it to family and friends. Maybe I'll use it like for clothes that I don't mind getting messy or repurpose it as workout clothes. I just like getting the most bang for my buck. This is the first time ever where I had like the most up-to-date model. So very thankful that my husband did that for me. He was like, hey, I really don't know what else to get you. This way you have like the newest model. You don't have to worry about your phone dying out because when I had the older models, things would slow down. I run out of memory super fast. Like my battery life would decrease and then also like 
with my old phone it would just like die randomly so he's like that's not safe you need a reliable phone so this way i have the upgraded video and camera quality which i love the three cameras it takes such amazing photos and it's more reliable so thank you ernie Goal number five was to live a minimalist lifestyle. So that is a work in progress. However, I think I have taken big steps. We got rid of a dresser, our dining room table and chairs. So actually got rid of a few pieces of furniture that we weren't really using or we could just go without it. So I actually work from home and I would use the kitchen table as my work setup. But we kind of noticed we weren't using it for like the proper reasons. Like the chairs were taking up space. We don't really have like people over. Honest, we eat our meals like on the couch, like on our coffee table. And I actually got a really nice work desk from Facebook Marketplace for only like $40. So I will share that on my Instagram. I still want to finesse it a bit because I have a lot of wire and cores. I want to like drill, well Ernie, drill a hole and like, you know, make it look all nice and pretty. So it's still a work in progress. However, I love it. It's an actual work setup. And also I do follow Vassar Beauty on YouTube and one of her like more recent videos within like the last month or two, she was like, go around the house with a garbage bag and fill it up. And I was like, okay, like I probably won't because I, I'm not gonna lie, I do tend to hold on to things again. I like to get the most bang for my buck or I'm kind of that person, like, what if I use it? But I'm not like a hoarder though. Like, yeah, if it's not gonna like give me any use, I'll throw it away. Or if, you know, it has like holes or anything like that, like stains, I'll toss it. But I actually filled that thing up and I felt like so much better. I felt like all this weight was lifted off my shoulder. It was just nice to like remove the clutter. Goal number six was to post on Instagram stories more. So I think I had met that goal. I have been posting every single day and then like posting on my Instagram stories when I have a new post. Also, I've been trying to post like more daily things or like pulls on there. So definitely follow me on Instagram if you haven't already. It's just Belicious Budgeting. Goal number seven is to fly first class. I think I've had this on my list now for three years, but it's just so darn expensive and I can't like rationalize it. And I don't want to fly first class on American Airlines because I book primarily through Costco because that's the most budget friendly and they primarily use American Airlines. I've seen their first class. I don't think it's worth it to be quite honest. And also I have been trying to find like other ways to like fly first class on a budget. So a lot of people have recommended when you initially book it, like don't request first class, but you know, like the day prior where you check in and sometimes there are some seats available for upgrade. So there was actually a chance, I think it's on the way to New York. I could have flown one way first class for an extra like three or $400, which is a lot of money, but for first class, it wasn't that bad. However, there's only one seat available. I'm not gonna leave Ernie alone. So hopefully when we go to London or Paris, maybe, we can fly first class because Ernie and I do have like a travel credit card. Like we literally charge every single thing on it. We do use it responsibly. We pay it off in full before the due date. So we're not just like charging everything, paying all this interest. We are responsible with it, but even if we go to Dollar Tree, I buy something for like five bucks, I charge it just to get my points. So we have been saving that, have not used it yet and we want to redeem it for a first class just to lower the bill a bit. Number eight was to lose weight. I feel like this has been one of my goals for the past three years, but this year is where I made significant changes to my diet and workout routines. One thing I did this year was a meal plan. So prior to this, I felt like I was the heaviest I have ever been, but I was working out five to six times a week. So I was thinking, why am I not losing weight? Why am I not getting like toned or any definition? I was following the workout calendar from Grow With Joe on YouTube. It's free, just check out her community tab every Sunday. She'll post like a schedule to follow. So that's what I was doing. And I thought I was eating healthy, but I really wasn't. I wasn't eating horrible either because Ernie and I really don't eat out that much. We mainly cook at home, but even cooking at home, I wasn't like cooking like the best things all the time or I was like, oh, it's a cheat meal. Like we would have spinach bacon pasta or some days we'd be more healthy and have like avocado toast or peanut butter toast with bananas on it or oatmeal, things like that. So honestly, it was just like a mixture of like healthy eating and like not so healthy eating. But now we eat like really clean and like fresh ingredients. Like we always have fresh produce around the house, but that got expensive. So honestly, most of the time I buy frozen fruits and vegetables with some fresh produce that we will use right away because I hate wasting food and wasting money. So that's a little trick if you know you're not gonna have it till later down the line, just buy frozen fruits and vegetables that way it'll last longer and it won't expire. However, for my meal plan, I did do a video if you want to check that out. However, what I eat changes on the daily. 
So she likes to mix it up a bit because she says you don't want your body to like get like used to something. You want to switch it up. So I follow Grow With Joe's meal plan. In November, I knew she had an amazing sale with her app. So I literally waited till November of last year to make the change. It's not that bad regularly priced. I think it's like 70 or $80 for the whole year. And you can like track your water intake, your workout routine, things like that. So it's an amazing and interactive app. But I waited till Black Friday. I think it was like $20 or $30. I'm just very frugal over here. Anyways, Ernie and I have followed that to a T at first because we were seeing results like that. Like maybe within like four to six weeks. What I really like about it. They're like really quick and easy meals. Like very limited ingredients. So absolutely love it. I'll have the video link down below if you want to check it out. If you want me to do more, I definitely can. So you kind of get an idea of like what I eat. But I have been seeing like really great changes from that, just from eating healthier. And then also I have changed out my workout routine because prior to this, yes, I would do like the five to six days a week. But then we started going to the gym where like one day I would just work out my arms and next day like my legs, my abs are just like all cardio. And then I'm thinking, why have I not seen any like results? And I'm thinking, well, duh, you're only working out one body part a week. Like it's not consistent enough. So then I did some research and now I'll do like, three workouts for my arms and I'll do like 15 reps. I'll do three sets of 15 and then like for my legs, for my abs, etc. So I'll like focus on three body parts. I always do abs because I feel like my stomach's gone bigger, but like I lost weight everywhere else. I don't know what's going on with that. I always do abs and I'll maybe like mix up with like legs, arms and shoulders. But by doing the meal plan and changing my workout routine, I have lost two pant sizes. Now I am a solid medium, whereas before I would kind of be in the range of like a medium and large and even some things I'm a small believe it or not so I'm very happy I'm finally seeing results this time around goal number nine was to get a promotion at work so yes I actually just started my job so very excited for that it's 100% working from home however there has been some talk of possibly going in the office I feel like they'll say one thing and it always changes but as of right now I'm 100% from home my last job we would have to go in once a month but then there's talk about going like twice a week it's just constantly changing i don't know what's going on but yeah i'm learning something completely new so i will definitely update you all how that's going but like i said i just started but very happy that i met the goal this year and goal number 10 was to spend less and to increase my savings so yes i haven't mean that goal so one thing that i'll do is like i'll double check our inventory before we go like grocery shopping for instance which i normally do anyways but Beforehand, I would be like, oh, let's just get like an extra can of black beans or let's get more of this. I would buy like a little bit more just to have it on hand. However, the meal plan app, what another thing that I love about it, which I'm not sponsored in any way, you can only shop for like a two week period because there is like fresh produce in there. So you choose the meals that you wanna do and then you choose the dates that you want a grocery list to populate. And I'll tell you exactly like how much you need, which I will double it because it is for Ernie and I. So beforehand, I'd be like, oh, let's just get like two extra cans of black beans or let's just get a little bit extra of this. We have a grocery store right around the corner, but I go on my way to shop at Winco because the bins are super cheap. You can get like rice for 70 cents a pound, sugar for like 30 cents a pound. So it's just like more frugal for me. And we only go like twice a month grocery shopping. So now I'll just stick to what we need. And if we need more of it, I can just go to the grocery store around the corner. So that has been saving some money also by buying like frozen fruits and vegetables versus fresh all the time like the ones that we will eat in a couple of days which we do make smoothies every single day so we are using a lot of fruit and usually at dinner there's always some type of vegetable so the ones I know we're going to go through that week I will buy fresh produce for but buying frozen definitely helps as well to make sure like no food goes bad also when I shop at TJ Maxx Marshall's that's like my jam I would just go to window shop and then just buy random stuff that I didn't necessarily need. I'll use it, but I didn't need it. So now I'll have a purpose in mind when I go to the store. It's like, okay, I'm looking for a photo frame or the dogs need more treats. So now I have a more focused agenda when I shop. And honestly, that has been helping a lot. Or if I am window shopping, I'll look at the item and think, okay, if I buy this, what am I going to put in there? Or I should get rid of something or I should replace something. So just having that in mind really does help. Or if I'm online shopping or I saw something that I wasn't going there for, I'll put it back. And if I'm thinking about it like the next day or two, then I'll go back and get it. Or if I come home, I'm like, you know what? This would actually be a purpose in the home. Then I'll go back and get it. But if I forgot about it, I'm like, okay, that's just an impulse buy. 
I really don't need it. So those things have been helping so much. And I'm not gonna lie, the past two months, my spending has been higher than usual, like the recent family trips and local trips we have been taking. Also this past week, we had two plumbing emergencies within three days of each other. So not everything goes according to plan, but luckily, we're able to account for that. We have a savings account or maybe that month we don't put as much towards savings or at all. So I just want to be honest with you because not everything always goes as planned. As you have an action in place on how to account for that, I think you're good to go. So I know next month I'll be like back on track and be able to put more into savings again, but I just wanted to share that with you all. That's all for my goal updates for this year. Let me know in the comment box down below what goals you have met this year or goals you're currently working on. I would definitely love to know. And if you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button down below. Also, let's give this video a thumbs up. Be sure to turn notifications. I upload every Wednesday and Saturday, and I'll see you all in my upcoming videos. Bye, everyone.